This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you so much for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Craig McKee. Here's a closer look at some of today's top stories. The woman accused of randomly shooting into a couple's car in Springdale went before a judge yesterday morning. Police say on Wednesday, Ashley Copeland pulled up to a stoplight on Chesterdale Road, and then shot into the car next to her. The couple had a three month old in the car with them. A bullet hit the driver in the arm. Prosecutors call the shooting completely random and unprovoked. She's being held now on $220,000 bond. Yesterday, we learned Bengals top player Jesse Bates might not play at all this season. The Bengals offered Bates a five-year deal, which, uh, according to reports, Jesse refused to sign. They couldn't come to an agreement. He is now threatening not to report to even training camp, according to those same reports, and to not play this season. Starting today, it will be easier to call for help in a mental health crisis. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline connects people with mental health professionals trained to respond to emergencies. The hotline number will be 988 and will be available 24 hours a day. The number connects the caller to a certified crisis center in the area where the call is placed. Good morning, I'm Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh. It does look like we could see a few scattered showers through about 9, maybe 10 o'clock across the tri-state. Otherwise, partly to mostly cloudy skies, warm and humid on this Saturday. Now, coming tomorrow is something different. Stronger rainmaker heads our way, and we're likely going to see some scattered waves of rain and maybe some thunderstorms. That'll continue into Monday as well. Then next week, it turns hot for several days across the tri-state.